might get his first try. Is that his first try? Yes, yes, it is. Superstar. Oh, Bit of a spark oh, there. Wow. Oh, good flag. Otherwise, that could have been more dangerous. Oh, he's over. And he's now been penalised this time for shirt grab. We could have a protest on our hands. Fantastic try, but now Canberra are back in it. And welcome to the Menai Indoor Sports Centre. I'm Jackson Kelly here with Jack Hislop. We're here now for the grand final, the Division One grand final, the trophy grand final for the New South Wales Wheelchair Rugby League. It will be between the Newcastle Knights and the St George Illawarra Dragons. Jack, how do you see this one playing out? Uh, Shafe is a cracking encounter, Jackson. Uh, nice had a pretty easy semi-final encounter. The Dragons did it a little bit tougher. It's going to be extremely close and I'm keen for it. Lining up for the Dragons, number three, Yara Ryan. Number eight, Corey Kanan. Number 11, Craig Kanan. Number 11, Moe Chamason. Number 22, Anthony Masterson. Number four, Carmelo Raspanti. And joining them, Rachel Quigley. For the Newcastle Knights, number eight, Brad Grove. Number 16, Michael Johnson. Number five, Fabian Castillo. 10 is Jason Attard. 14 is Anthony Fram. And rounding out the Knights side, number 17, Andrew Holloway. And we're away. Castillo gets us underway. It's oh. bounced. Has he touched that? What's the call going to be from Damon Winters? No touch is claiming Masterson. I believe he's going to go with Dragon's ball. It's going to be a play the ball to Yarra Ryan and the Dragons. They're going to bring it out from their own line. Here we go. Craig Kinane. Now Castillo. Always dangerous Castillo. Off to Grove. Overlap now. Attard has an overlap. On the inside to Grove. Beautiful ball. No, he's been tagged. Oh, has he? he's had an illegal dive. <laughs> Referee. They're going to award the try. Damon Winters awarded it. Damon Winters makes the decision. He's put it down under the posts. Oh, Yarra takes it up. Over to Craig Kinane. Craig Kinane, quick ball to Maui. Maui looking for the line. He scored the try. Try. How about that? How about the ball movement, Jack? From side to side, side the Dragons. To side. Such entertaining wheelchair rugby league. Damon Winters. Attard looking left to Castillo. Castillo barging for Strength, the line. Size, power. He's over. Yes. Castillo goes over. Too much power. Too much speed close to the line, too much strength. He hands it off to Moe. Moe is looking for support, but he might go through the middle, and he does. He, does. he hands it off dope. to Craig. Craig, does he have the speed? Tagged. Ooh. What a tag Bad by Grove. Brad Grove. Great tag by the captain. Off to Yarra, who oh, jumps he quickly. He scores. David Winters gives it. What a try. What enterprising stuff from the Dragons. Here we go. Moe close to the line, not yet to be tagged. Now tagged by Castillo. He puts his tag back on quickly. The pace of the game, Yarra's close. No, he's tagged. That's definitely tagged first. Tagged by Castillo. Yarra thinks he got there. Hold on. Try. Here we go. Another call. From Damon Winners, he's given it a try. He makes no mistake. And as the halftime siren goes in the 2014 New South Wales Wheelchair Rugby League Grand Final, the St George Illawarra Dragons are leading the Newcastle Knights 18 points to 12. And right now we have Laurie Luira who is standing by with the NRL's very own Todd Greenberg. Thanks Todd for coming down. Um, what do you make of the game so far? Well, amazing. First time I've watched it. Uh, very physical. Obviously a great contest and uh, they're pretty passionate, so really enjoying it. And you can see the uh, rugby league in, in the sport? Oh, I can see it. It's, uh, it's alive and well right here. I mean, uh, just the talent of some of the players. Um, you can see the ball skills. You can see their vision for the game. I saw one try scored on the short side. So, yeah, very, very interesting. Yeah, fascinating. Hey, what's impressed you the most so far? Oh, look, I think if you come here, you're preaching to the converter. This is rugby league people. And this is a great derivative of the game, um, you know, and it's so encouraging to see people play wheelchair rugby league. I mean, it's fantastic for the code. We, we should be very proud of this. And it's great to see that it's a very inclusive sport, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Boys, girls, lots of people supporting each other's teams. I mean, they're obviously wearing their own jerseys with great passion and uh, very competitive. Uh, I mean, I know this is the grand final and 
they're obviously playing for keeps. Do you think um, players, the NRL players, would be interested in something like this, maybe when they retire or when they've got an injury? Well, I actually think NRL players would be interested in it right now. I think uh, I think some media would be interested in it right now too. There's obviously a number of very good stories to be told here, and some of them probably being aren't told. So. Part of the challenge today for me will be to see if we can get more of them told because there's obviously a good story to tell out of this. So there's definitely a future for this sport nationally and with the NRL? Oh, no doubt. And I'm obviously interested in its international prominence as well as obviously other countries who are playing this. And as you say, inclusiveness, uh, there should be no barrier to entry for rugby league and this is obviously breaking down those barriers. Definitely something the NRL is proud of. Very much so. My first time here, but it won't be my last. Fantastic. Thanks for your time, Todd. No problem. New South Wales Wheelchair Rugby League Grand Final. Dragons and Newcastle. Jack, we're about to start. What are you looking forward to in this second half? Just looking forward to those big hits that were so, such a big part of the first half is oh. Craig Kinane kicks off. Looks like it's going to be the Dragons ball of the kickoff here. Great kickoff by Craig Kinane. Gets it off to Johnson. Johnson tackled strongly by Yara Ryan. Fabian Costello moves to the right-hand side. He gets the ball over the line for a try. Try to the Newcastle Knights. Fabian Castillo barges his way over again. That's all you need to do, isn't it? Let's go to Johnson. Castillo looks for the long over ball. Up. Holloway's, Holloway's over. over. He? Yes, he is. Winters points to the spot, and the Knights hit the front. Dropped it first. Dragon second. Dragon's ball. Canaan now. Moe on the right. inside, he's over, he's, he's in. got there, are they going to, they're going to give it, it's yes. a try. It's a try, the Dragons have hit back. Back to 24-22. like that. Oh my. Moe straight through, and will he have the pace to go all the way, Adams chasing it, go yes. get there. He's scored. Another try for Moe Chamason. Kanae now, Yara. Yara surely, puts his head down. Surely, surely, surely. He's got it down. His tags are still on his shoulders and he's obviously grounded the ball. Holloway scrambling to get back in position. Yara doesn't take advantage. Off to Craig Kanae, he puts it up in the air. Oh, oh my God! Scored. Moe takes it out of thin air. How did he get there so quickly? Steve Hewison. Jason Haddard goes straight Attard, through. Straight through. Straight He'll through. go all the way. He puts it down. Newcastle puts the kick through. It can bounce anywhere. Everyone's chasing. And, and Noe it. sends it dead. Bumping into his teammate who's off the court. And that is it. Here at the Menai Indoor Sports Centre, the Dragons take out the New South Wales Wheelchair Rugby League Grand Final for 2014, the end score. St George Illawarra Dragons 42, the Newcastle Knights 34. Congratulations Dragons. Jack Hislop is with the captain, Yarra Ryan. We've got the uh, St George uh, Dragons captain, uh, Yarra Ryan here, the victorious captain. How's it feel, Matt? It feels fantastic. Second year on the trot, uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful season. We had a little bit of a stumble through the season, but feels fantastic. Well, you were undefeated for most of it. Uh, it was a relief to uh, finally, you were minor premiers. It was a relief to be major premiers as well. It is a very good relief. Uh, Newcastle Knights, they were playing spectacular today. We, um, we got a bit lucky and we really pushed it, but I'm so glad for that win. We just played so well today. It was fantastically. It was try for try. Was there some nervous moments there? There was a lot of nervous moments. So I was just wondering for one of us to stuff up and um, luckily we didn't blink. Uh, we nearly did, but in the second half, just to start, we blinked a little bit, but then we came back and just let them have it. All right, congratulations and thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, it was an absolutely cracking game. It was try for try, it was hit for hit. It was absolutely entertaining stuff as the Dragons came from behind at some points during that match to overcome the Knights, 42 points to 34. Fantastic day, a fantastic field day, a massive day for the sport. The wheelchair rugby league, plenty of action, plenty of games. Semi, as we said, semi-finals all day today, semi-finals all this morning, and we wrapped it up today with two absolutely brilliant grand finals, Division Two and Division One. In Division Two, we saw the Bulldogs take it out, and now, just then, in Division One, 
we see the minor premiers. For most of the year, they were undefeated, and today, they were not defeated. Congratulations, the St. George Illawarra Dragons.